welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video that has been so highly requested since I've been posting back to school videos and it is study tips. So yeah, if you want to learn my study tips, keep on watching. The first study tip is to space out your studying because if you just cram all your studying in one night, then that's not going to be very beneficial to yourself. So if a teacher gives you like a list of vocabulary words to memorize, I suggest memorizing like five a night and then in four days you have them all memorized and you're basically on top of the ball. Like your teacher gave you like the list today and she says you're having a test tomorrow, then I would study as soon as you get home from school because you would remember it better and then review the words you had trouble with right before you go to bed. A study show, I know you've heard this before, but if you study right before you go to bed, you retain it better. My next study tip is to study in a very quiet place with natural lighting. So personally for me, I like to study on my bed because it's comfortable. I can study because my blinds are right there next to my bed and I can bring in the natural light because fake light, I guess, from like lamps and stuff is proven to cause more stress than you're actually already in. Natural light is proven to help you relieve stress. So study with natural light. Next tip is to take breaks frequently. So um, study for like 20 minutes and then take a five minute break or two minute break, whatever. Um, but after, during every break, do something like reward yourself or get another task done that you need to do like if your reward is eat a chip or something I don't know or if you need to get another task done like clean one section of your room or something I don't know just take breaks to get your mind off of studying but don't forget what you studied during your break that's all I gotta say my next tip that helps me so much is to teach other people the material that you learned the way that this works is if you're teaching someone the material you know the material so well that you're able to teach it to someone that they understand it. So basically, you rock. My next tip is to highlight, highlight, highlight. This is my favorite tip. Um, I freaking love highlighters. They help so much. I highlight my planner. Um, they just keep me so organized. Um, highlight main concepts and then um, if you want you can highlight little details in different colors but this helps me so much and it just draws your attention to the big picture instead of like the little details that you might not need to know unless you are taking a test on little details then highlight the little details but highlight highlighting is honestly like the best thing ever so I highly recommend that you do that. I don't know what this is but I've been doing it the whole video and it's quite annoying so I need to put my hands down. Another tip is to dress comfortable because you don't want to be in a tight body dress, bodycon dress or you don't want to be in jean pants studying because that's not comfortable. You can't cross your legs, you can't do anything. Or sweatpants and a t-shirt basically my life so do it because it is definitely so 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 comfortable. If you're wondering, the shirt that I'm wearing is actually my band shirt. And if you don't know what my band is, if you go on my Instagram, I have a video of us at rehearsal practicing. So you should definitely check my Instagram out. Here's what it looks like. I have the black one. There's also a white one. But the design is just like a sunset. And then my na the name of the band is vice versa. If you guys want to buy one of my band shirts, just um, comment on any of my pictures or DM me or whatever. Even comment on this video. And then I'll message you because they are $15.00. And they really support my band, and it would be so awesome if you guys want one. You can pay on PayPal, and we will get your address and send it right to you. So, don't forget to check this out. And, yeah, so, okay, enough of that self-promo. <laughs> Let's move on to the next tip. Get a planner. Another part of studying is knowing when your test is. Because if you don't know when your test is, how are you supposed to know when to study? So you should get a planner to stay organized, one, to know when your tests are, and two, to map out your studying schedule so that you can stay organized. Next is index cards, flashcards. Those are the best. Next to highlighting, these are my favorite because um, just like flashing your brain, it helps you remember so well. And um, I do this for vocab tests all the time or etymology tests or Spanish vocab or anything. So I definitely recommend if you use flashcards, you can even use them for formulas for math or chemistry or whatever class you're taking, they will come in handy, I guarantee you 100%. My next tip is to find patterns in whatever you're studying. So yeah, finding patterns is definitely very helpful for me and hopefully for you too. Next is turn your phone off. Okay, I am guilty of this. I will start studying the Scarlet Letter and I'll read the spark notes to get the general idea before I read this the actual chapter but then when I'm on spark notes I'm like oh let me just check my Facebook let me just check my Instagram comment on someone's picture and then 30 minutes has passed and I'm still on my phone so 
you know what you need to do you need to turn your phone off and if you are a strong person like my friend Tanner is delete your social media from your phone keep one of them but delete all the other ones personally I cannot do that I'm not as strong as him because I am too lazy to go back and download them back and stuff and I use them all the time for YouTube stuff but if you are able to live without them then I recommend doing that because then you won't even be easily distracted to go into those sites and you wouldn't have, I mean you could still turn your phone off but it won't be as necessary as if you had all those sites on your phone. Last study tip is to reward yourself. So if you don't want to reward yourself during the break and you need to clean your room or do something else then after you're done studying everything that you need to know, reward yourself by giving yourself a chocolate bar, I don't know, giving yourself a pat on the back, time to do something else, watch a YouTube video, watch my YouTube videos, watch all my YouTube videos, um, shop my closet on Instagram, maybe even go to the store and then check in at places and use my referral codes, things like that, just to reward yourself, you know. Shameless self-promo, but seriously, do it. If you guys want to do anything else to reward yourself, I don't know, just... Do whatever you feel like you deserve for studying and be proud of yourself because that way it'll motivate you to study again because then you'll know that there's a reward at the end of it for you. Those are all my study tips. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and I love you guys so, so much. Bye!